Hello everybody, my name is Maurice O'Brien. I'm a Senior Nursing Lecturer in Adult Nursing Studies at Cardiff University in the School of Healthcare Sciences. I'm delighted to be able to share some of my thoughts with you um, with regards to LGBTQIA scientists um, in, but for the Marie Curie Alumni Association. Ensuring a more diverse community in science enhances the breadth and depth of exploring ideas, raising questions and providing solutions, often to very challenging questions, bringing richness over these traditional heteronormative approaches. Diversity in scientific communities challenges dominating traditional public perceptions of what a scientist is, very often male, white and homo heterosexual. <laughs> And it can enhance engagement from LGBT people as well if they see themselves positively represented and welcomed in science. Ensuring diversity in scientific research communities ensures that the approaches to advancing knowledge and research design, methods, samples, etc. are inclusive of people who belong to those minority communities. Visible LGBT scientists I see are very, very powerful and, and empowering role models, particularly for those LGBT scientists who might be reticent or not feel comfortable in being their authentic selves. They can often help to challenge marginalisation, discrimination, stigmatisation that LGBT scientists can often experience or indeed fear. Their visibility, showcasing their achievements and ability to succeed can act as a strong catalyst, allowing others to see that it is possible to achieve. They demonstrate the breath that people perform better when they, can, when they are their authentic selves and that diversity in teams enhances the breadth of experience and productivity. Their openness and visibility too can raise awareness of the particular challenges that LGBT people, scientists in particular, often experience in their places of study and work and indeed home lives and they can support the need to proactively embrace diversity and difference and challenge the predominant heteronormativity approaches in scientific study and in our work environments. Their visibility promotes a sense of safety in study and work. Their visibility and ambassadorship will inspire future LGBT students to realise their ambition and potential and make positive choices to study and work and to consider particularly STEM studies as they may well perceive that study and careers in this area would not be suitable for or indeed welcome them. But certainly something I advocate is the value of allies and how it is that allies can support the LGBT scientific community. And these allies, of course, do not need to be identifying within the LGBT community themselves. Allies can be visible role models. They can proactively engage empathic challenge to those who are reticent in supporting and recognize, recognizing that the LGBT scientific community members. Allies listen to the LGBT community and active, act as active bystanders, helping to champion those LGBT issues that need to be heard and represented. Allies can often be in powerful positions as well to provide a vehicle to promote positive change for LGBT people with those in positions of authority in our scientific study and work environments and allies support and empower the LGBT community. Allies can provide a valued approach in identifying barriers faced by LGBT people and they can enable more inclusive approaches within places of study and work. They contribute their expertise to advocate for, support and participate in specific relevant LGBT research. Allies acting as mentors for the LGBT people will demonstrate a willingness to mentor somebody who is different to themselves. And allies can be powerful in identifying and mitigating against addressing gaps 
in an inclusive curriculum and those gaps as well that exist within our teaching and learning and research environments where some minority communities are overlooked, not represented or visible. I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts and I hope you have a very, very happy Pride. Bye-bye.